Hey guys, welcome back to Crafty Wives channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a salsa verde de aguacate. The spicy level on the salsa is mild. So let's start off with the ingredients. You'll need one head of cilantro, four tomatillos verdes, two large jalapeno peppers, or if you want to switch out to spicy, you can definitely change it to serrano peppers, one avocado, half a onion. For my seasoning, I'm using chicken flavored bouillon and three lemons and one fourth of a cup of milk. I do wanna say I did use some crema, so you will need crema. This is one of the mildest salsa verde recipes that I have, so enjoy. The first thing you'll want to do is chop up your tomatillos. Make sure you wash them and peel them. By peel, I mean taking off the skins. And just chop up your half onion and slicing my jalapeno pepper and taking the seeds out as well. This is what makes our salsa verde recipe mild. So the first thing you want to do is char up some onions. So I put a little bit of oil on my pot. I have it on medium to low heat and I'm just going to slowly char my onion and jalapeno peppers. If you do want this salsa recipe to be spicy, just switch the jalapeno peppers to serrano peppers. On the side here, I'm making beans and some barbacoa. This type of salsa is perfect for like a guac chip dip for a game day or when you have friends over, not everyone likes really spicy salsa, so it's always better to make it a bit mild so everyone can enjoy. Okay, once they are charred, it's been about five minutes, I'm going to add it to the blender straight with the oil, and no, my blender won't melt. But after that, I'm going to add in one fourth of a cup of milk, following with the tomatillos that I washed and I pre-cut. You do not need to boil the tomatillos, just cut them and then put them in the blender after I put in my tomatillos, I overstuff my blender with the cilantro and I just use one head of cilantro, blended that first in the blender. Once all of that is blended up, I'm going to add in my avocado and my lime. And this should be the consistency of the salsa without the avocado. Now we're going to add in our avocado and our lime juice. I'm also going in with two tablespoons of crema salvadoreña or you can use any type of crema you have. I'm also putting in two tablespoons of chicken flavored bouillon, or you can season it with just sea salt, but I used a small cap size of my chicken flavored bouillon seasoning. And you guys, this is all I use to make my mild salsa verde de aguacate. The salsa gets that lime green color because of the milk and the crema. Make sure before you plate, you taste your salsa for seasoning. Mine tasted perfect, and I put it in a glass mason jar, and it looks so good. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you try this recipe out. Bye, guys.